So I hope you guys are excited for summer and um, I decided to do, excited for fall, sorry, I decided to do a little bit more fall inspired look. Um, and I wore my hair down as promised, so this is the new do. Um, it's really orange, which is what I wanted, so um, I'm super happy. Anyway, enjoy the video and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so first step here, I am going to use my Clarins Instant Perfecting Eye Base. I love this stuff because it has a bit of a peachy kind of color to it, so it really evens out the eye. And it really kind of gives you a good base to work with. And I quite like that. So the next thing I'm going to use is my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Lavender. If you can hear a sound, it's the washing machine upstairs. And I'm just going to get some on my finger and spread it across my eyelid. I like to use as little of this stuff as possible because it does crease all over the place. Sometimes even if I use a really good base, it still creases. So I'm gonna try and get as close as I can for you guys. But I just kinda want a sticky base for um, all my colors to kinda grab onto just on the lid. Then I'm going to use my Circa Plum pigment, which I just picked up. It was part of the Rose Romance collection and I kinda passed it by and passed it by and then I was like, oh, I really want this, so. Um, I always just use whatever's in the lid. And then taking my flat shader brush, packing this color all over my lid. And it's seriously the most beautiful color I've ever seen. I love this. And I always kind of pack the even the lightest color all over my lid because then it gives your darker colors something to blend onto. Seriously, isn't that the prettiest color ever? I love it. Sorry if my lighting is a little off. Um, I'll get it right at some point. Um, next color I'm going to take is Blackberry, which is this one right here. And it's kind of like a mid-tone smoky purple. And I'm going to put that one about two-thirds of the way and then all the way over and that's just going to be building up that darker color don't worry too much about blending right now and then I'm going to take the color smut if you don't have that you could use um, shadowy lady or something like graphology or even um, a hundred strokes and that's going to go on this outer kind of corner V area here now Here's where the blending comes in. I'm going to go back in with that blackberry color and I'm just going to start working this color into this crease and up and over. Now I have a lot of lid space so I like to use as much as I can so I come all the way up to here and kind of all the way over to here. If you have a smaller lid just bring it down lower if that makes sense and just blending back and forth with that blackberry color. Then I'm gonna go back in with Smut, a little bit, you know, more depth. And I like to bring this color a little bit higher, just like that. And then you can kind of pull it like this with your finger and see how it kind of creates that shape right there just from pulling it like that with your finger. And I like the way that looks. So that's what I do. And then I just kind of fuzz this out with my brush. Now I don't have a lot of product left on my brush and I'm just using those kind of back and forth motions. Now you're definitely going to go in and darken this up because you can see this side is so much darker. But I really want to start getting that blend. So. What I did to kind of darken this side up was I took carbon, which is just the black, and I kind of drew this darker outer V area. 
and I connected up my bottom lashes. Took the black in about three quarters of the way. And just kind of started to, sorry about the movement there. Just kind of started to feather that out. And you can take a big blending brush and kind of feather this all in. And I'm going to use blank type, which is this one here. And I'm going to pop that up here as my highlight. And then I usually like to, with my two, sorry, 224, just kind of blend this line a little bit. And this one too. Oops. And then we're just going to keep building this color. Taking my little smudger brush, the color Smut again. And I'm just kind of feathering out all these areas in here. A little bit of blackberry to kind of smoke it out. And then Circa Plum right on this inner corner. Oh, got some in my eye. Sorry. Touch my eyeball there. Some of you may find that gross. All the way in. I'm going to take a little bit more of my Circa Plum Pigment on a 217 and just kind of dust it over this whole area to make sure that that color is really what's kind of shining and standing out. And then if you need to go in and sometimes I like to blend out my edges with a little bit of brulee and just kind of take the edges and swipe all the way around them just like that. And just kind of keep blending and building this color on your eye. Then I took a little bit of my Unbasic White from the Love That Look collection on my little pointy brush. And I think this is like the 219 or something like that. And right in the corners. And then I put a little bit just under the highest point of the brow and then blended that out so that there's not too much because you don't want too much shine because you have some here. So I'm going to go ahead and do my liner and my mascara and then I will come back and show you the finished look. Okay, so here is the completed look. I have my lips on. Mwah! And I went for a super neutral lip because um, I wanted to take that. So I used uh, Blankety Lipstick, which is a super neutral color, but it's good for people that are a little more fair because it has a little bit more pink to it and it's not so orange so it doesn't make you look dead. And then I used Purr Lip Glass. And um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the look and um, I hope you're having a good day and look for my video on my new star flash shadows when I get them. Also, I'm going to do a organization video too, so uh, look out for that as well. Organization of my makeup, how I kind of break it down, how I organize it, because I know a lot of people struggle with that. So, hope you're having a good day and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.